Uh, are we starting the interview now? You starting the interview right now? Yeah, yeah that's what I was calling. Uh, is it live or is it pre-recorded? No, it's no. going to be pre-recorded. Uh, I'm going to be there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there in about an hour. Uh, I don't know how traffic is right now, so whenever I pull up, I'm going to pull up. All right, brother. All right, bro. So this is the Mars Files, powered by Miami Soundwave Radio, and today we have XXX Tensation. Oh, it's recording? Yeah, it's recording now. Okay. Um, I mean, basically, we just start them all off. Like, like you, you already did that no jumper that kind of, like, covered everything, so I'm going to just, like, lightly cover everything. Okay. Um, kind of like, tell me like where you grew up, um, and stuff like that. I grew up in the Broward area. Uh, basically, like, I was born, I, I mean, I was born in the Plantation Hospital, but I was born, like, raised near, like, the Pompano slash North Lauderdale area. Uh, growing up afterwards, I mean, I was, like, like, when I was really, really, really young. And then afterwards, I stayed with my mom for quite a while. I said, well, actually, I stayed for, with her for like four, uh, four years. I thought I stayed with her for like four years. I got to start getting into a lot of trouble. Um, afterwards, I mean, I, I went to a program, got kicked out of the program, ended up staying with my grandmother. So I started staying in Lauderhill, which they considered four-way or deep side. Um, after a, a, a while of staying, staying there, I just kind of conformed into getting into a mass amount of trouble and letting myself go. So after I reached that uh, that point in life, I mean, I, I kind of went from there. So I guess you could say from the Pompano, North Lauderdale to the Lauderdale area. Yeah. And then um, I guess kind of like what like when you were in school and shit, like what kind of kid were you? Uh, indecisive. Indecisive. Indecisive and, and not at all uh, the norm. I felt like I definitely felt as if my thoughts were beyond the, the normal human thought or a human thought process because when I was in school my thoughts were always on a thousand so that was the reason why I couldn't focus and that was the reason why I yeah, felt as if school was, was like my racing. mind was always racing so I felt like my mind was somewhere completely else in school and I, I don't tell anybody this day in school because I feel like school is definitely meant for some people but I couldn't I couldn't handle it and it's, it's unfortunate to say because I definitely would have liked to graduate to make my my family proud but uh, it's not something I fell through with. What do you What do you think it was that that school was it like the people? Did you like did people, it was me? It Everything was is me. It's my it's like my own madness that pretty much yeah like, eats me. And where Where do you think that that kind of thing comes from? Depression. Depression. Depression and and uh, insecurities. Why Why do you feel like you're you're maybe depressed or insecure? Because I'm not shit. Mm. The more you live life, the more you realize that you are just. Like a like speck, a, a pebble, yeah, a pebble out of a thousand, yeah, like a like a, a pebble out of a, a a mountain of boulders. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you don't feel like you like, like, cause I mean, bro, like you're you're pretty successful, like to an extent, you know what I mean? Like you're not you're not successful, uh, successful to, to someone that is, that is trying to reach that point, but yeah. to someone that is established, no, not at all. Yeah, I I, I feel that, but like, do you, do you do you as you get more successful, does does like the burden of like your your madness does it like? It gets worse. It gets worse. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Because it's just more of a thought process. It's like the more you get into this, the more you meet people that don't really give a fuck about you. The more you you just realize like, I guess like it, it sucks to 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 comfort all my fans and then when they try and be there for me, it's like I, I can't accept it. I don't know. It's a, it's a very uh. You have over a thousand to a, to a million people contacting you or saying anything or trying to uh to to comfort you or any. It's it's like like maybe like the more the it's like blow. It's like trying to kiss. It's like trying to kiss the wind. It's yeah. Not work. I feel you. Do you think? Do you think like the more so like you're saying the more success the worse it's getting? Do you think that's because maybe like it feels like. It kind of almost feels like empty, like you just said, like kissing the wind. Like yeah, I've always always been empty though. I think I'll always be empty. It's a big problem. It's like a like a void, like a void nobody can fill. Where do you think that comes from, or do you even know? Depression and self hate, abandonment. 